here. So the Gatrog, the ravenous ride. Big fan of alliteration. Not yet, but bang, bang. It's, it's over, man. Yeah, Frog will do that to you. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode of Mana Man, and today we got a juicer for you before we dig into the deck. Make sure to leave a like on the video, the button looks just like this, and it does help out the channel tremendously. I greatly appreciate it, feel free to join us in our Discord community below, and let's go ahead and dive right into Golgari. That's right, I'm trying to bring back Golgari. I think Golgari has a lot of new toys with the set, and nobody's talking about it. Why is nobody talking about it? I think, let's start off with the most, like, Golgari, Golgari-ish card. The Gitchog Ravenous Ride, now as you know, I'm a big fan of alliteration on the channel, so the Ravenous Ride is going to be pretty good here. So, I mean, Trample and Haste. Now, Haste is very, very good. I think this adds an element to Golgari that otherwise would not, because without Haste, it really, really hurts against Control. Like, Azorius Control can really just kind of put you on the kibosh, because we don't have the speed to take it out before they can, well, establish Control. So the Haste is really nice, but what else does it do? Whenever it deals with combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice a creature that's settled out of this turn. If you do draw X cards, then put up the X land cards from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. Now, I'm not going to lie. A lot of times, this is um, mostly... its not, I, I want to say it's like win more, but uh, most of the time, it just, it's, it's going to be like haste trample. That is going to be so good for 6-5. But if we do make use of the saddle, we do have two different outlets. So we got Mosswood Dread Knight. And we got the Tenacious Underdog. Now, why do we have the Underdog and the Dread Knight? Because with the Ravenous Ride, you have to sacrifice it, which is never really good. And you have to, A, have high power because you want to make use of the draw here. And you, B, want to, them to come back. So if you sacrifice the Dread Knight, you're going to be able to, well, go for Dread Whispers. Because as we know, you can just bring it back. And then the Underdog also can just go back from the grave. So, um... <clears throat> You could have like a 1-1, one, one, but then if you have like something that you don't really care about losing, obviously you're going to not, you're going to draw one card. It's not really that good. We would rather have these creatures because these two creatures can come back for the uh, Ravenous Stride. So um, other than that, we do have the Caustic Bronco. This card is really good. I mean, it kind of reminds me of Dark Confident. Confident, Confident, I don't know, whatever the heck you want to call it. I can never say that card right. I can never say anything right, but I can say the Bronco correctly. Remember this, I mean, basically I've read this about 3,000 times. Basically, whenever you attack, you're going to draw a card to lose life equal to its uh, mana. Or if you saddle it, again, saddle three, which we have Underdog for three and the Dread Knight for three power. So you can you can saddle it that way. Your opponent's going to lose a life. That's pretty much all it means. Again, if you're dumb like me, it took me a while to kind of realize that. But um, Pillage the Bog. I have one Pillage the Bog and one Nissa. So in like these really long, grindy games, um, you can go for Pillage the Bog and kind of just search for your big things. I mean, it's pretty, pretty much that simple. I am a little um, in the toss-up versus Avraska joins up. So we put a death, ca death touch counter on each creature we control. And then a, whenever a legendary creature uh, deals da combat damage, you put draw a card. We don't have a whole lot of early legendaries. So I think this one might be able to get cut. But again, we are running Vraska. Vraska herself is pretty good. We'll get to her in a second. So I think you could probably cut this, honestly. But I'm just going to run it because it's a new card and I'm a content creator, so why not? And Vraska the Silencer. Whenever a non-token creature you, you control dies, you may pay one, and then you get to pretty much steal it. Now, it does lose all other card types, so you're not going to be able to just take um, straight up creatures, but you are going to be able to steal them and get the artifacts. So, you get to ramp up a little bit, and you get to, like, if they have some sort of ability, you get to just take it. So, I don't know, Vraska seems pretty cool, so I guess we'll just run her too. Cool. Well, we got Golgari here. We're trying to bring it back, and how could I forget about my Bristlebud Farmer? I had no idea why I'm running. I don't know. I, I I drew one. I was like, this looks okay. It doesn't look like a standout. It doesn't look amazing, despite being a mythic, but it looks okay. I don't know. It creates food tokens, which might help against aggro. Helps um, mill a little bit. Helps mill for underdog. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It seems okay enough to run, and I had one flex spot, so... Let's run it out. Let's go for the uh, little farmer here. So this is pretty much the deck here, man. Obviously, this is all I got. We, we kind of know how Golgari plays out, and hopefully we can get this going here. So consider joining the channel to help me out as a content creator. Subscribe if you have not already. What are you doing? Let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Tamayo, hello, hello. Three, all three of our go for the throats and our Bronco. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll keep it. All right, pretty cool here, man. Like I said, I mean, we had to run Gliss. Like, Gliss is just too good not to run in a Golgari build, but we like to see uh, Vraska. That'd be pretty nice. Vraska does work pretty well because we have so much uh, death stuff. So, Moss with Dread Knight. I think we're just going to go straight in for this Bronco, man. Straight in for the Bronco. What do you got? For one blue, you got like consider or something? 
how can you hold up priority with just this? All right, all right. Looming Marsh, pretty good. Let's go in for the Glissa, and we're gonna saddle our Bronco. This is what the deck's all about, baby. Glissa, Sunslayer. Ooh, baby, let's take the Bronco. Yeehaw, baby. Let's go ahead and saddle you, and now when we draw, let's go. Swing in with our Bronco. Glissa's saddled up, baby. All right, so, well, that's fine. If we were to, um, you know, top deck into something crazy, they lose all the life, which is pretty nice. Versus control, that is actually a lot better versus control. Flanker, oh, so maybe this isn't like, um, maybe this is more like the Flash Flyer stuff. Nevertheless, I don't think we're going to saddle this time. I think we're going to go wide, because, I mean, Glissa is pretty nice, so. Yep, let's swing in here, and we still get the Bronco. I don't care. Now that I know we're playing control, well, we're just a land anyway, so. Bang. Uh, yeah, we'll just draw a card, lose life, sure. We're gonna murder you with just all of the card advantage in the world. So now I got a Liliana. I'm assuming they have a counter spell. Like, I would be really surprised if they didn't. So I'm just gonna do this first. Let's go for the Dread Knight, Shelly, and Dread Knight. The deuce. Okay, so now obviously we've committed a lot to this board. This is a, this is a pretty big commit to the board. So, and I don't think we've got enough firepower for lethal. So let's do this. I think we're looking okay though. Yeah, let's just do this. I don't care. Restless Cottage is fine. Bang. Uh, nope, nope. We're just gonna draw a card, lose life. We got so much card in hand, man. This is crazy. Bang, bang. Down to five. Okay, let's go in for... I think we're just gonna go for Liliana. If they do have the Dreaded Sunfall, this is going to be uh, more of a pain than just dropping the Shelly. Dissipate, unfortunate. So, if they do go in for the Dreaded Sunfall, I will actually cut down my own Dread Knight. Um, yeah, I'll get rid of the Blooming Marsh. Yeah, 100%. Let's go ahead and cut down our own Dread Knight here, for sure. Yep. So we can bring back the Dread Knight, plus we make the Incubator token a little weaker. Yeah, I think we're sitting okay here. Bristle Bud Farmer, I was going to say, if we, get, if we can top deck into a, um... If we can top deck into a Gatrog and we just win, which would be kind of cool. So now I gotta decide. Restless Cottage... I think we're gonna say no to this Restless Cottage because I want to drop the the Shelly and go for the Dread Knight. This seems pretty okay to me. So Shelly and then Dread Knight. All right, gain the life. I don't think the life gains really that doesn't matter that much there, but it's lost. Okay, well now actually, let's see. For the get lost, we could go in for our Restless Cottage. And then if we get a plus one plus one counter with the map, that is a little risky as well, isn't it? Maybe we take this a little slower. Let's just go in for the deep cavern bat. See if we can kind of clear clear their stuff out. Because they also have this to block. Oh god. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> I don't like that. Double Emperors and a March. Okay, well, the March can get rid of this Deep Cavern Bat straight up, so I think we're just going to do that, but... Ooh, that's that's not good. That's not good. Let's drop you. Let's drop you. I mean, I know they're going to blow us up with Depopulate, but now at least we know we can kind of play around these Wandering Emperors. Map token. All right, this is definitely going to be grindy from here on out. Another bat. Is the bat good? I'm gonna say no. I'm, I'm gonna say no. I'd rather kind of just sneak into something a little bit better here. Gonna go tall on the Dread Knight, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Land. Okay. So, oh man, this is actually pretty rough. Draw a card. Obviously, these two Restless Cottages are looking pretty phenomenal. So they can't really go in for the depopulate. 
Not because we have the Wandering Emperor. Maybe we should have kept that bat, but they have two. So I guess not? Alright, here's the thing. Here's the thing. One, two, three, four. They can go in for the Incubator token and an Emperor, which sucks. So if I do this, we have enough for a go for the throat on our own thing to deny life gain. Is that the move? I don't think it can be. Hold on, let's see my thinking. Because if I swing with the cottage, kill our own cottage, four, five, but then they have this. Mm, this is not comfortable at all. Let's try it. Let's try it out. I don't... There's, like, no other move we have is the problem. Because they have this to populate. There's no other move we have. I'm hoping... I'm hoping they don't incubate this token. Alright. Emperor. Yep. Yeah. So, either way, are we going to have five damage here? I am the Emperor of Kamigawa, and I will protect my people. So, oh, this sucks. I hope they don't go for the bat. They're going for the bat. What if I... What if I cry? So, they're going to get this back, right? And they can get rid of the cottage. It's pretty smart on them. We're going to have to let this go. Yeah, so we're going we're to have to commit more to the board now. I'm done. Because now they're going to be able to get rid of the cottage. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. Down to three. They still have an emperor up here. Obviously, they have another emperor and a depopulate. Do they, are they going to depopulate, though, is the question. Do I want to set down this Dread Knight? That pretty much forces them to... I mean, this would force them to, to depopulate here. Let's just draw, man. Ugh. Very yucky here. We need a Gatrog. We definitely need a Gatrog. And now the Field of Ruin puts the Restless Cottage play on ice. Are they going to really play a depopulate, though? Oh, they're just okay. They're just gonna dread night. Okay. Guards, to me. Shelly, we love Shelly. Can't really swing in. I think the plays just go in for Shelly. Can't I can't realistically swing in with the dread knight. I think we just do this, because they're obviously going to depopulate, and then we can kind of make use of these two Dread Knights. I think that's the only play we realistically have. Let's have a counter spell of some sort. Okay. Definitely can't attack, but now I'm thinking Bronco? No, I don't think so. Bronco's not looking good. They're gonna flash in the Emperor. Okay, they're all in on the Emperor. What are they gonna do with the Emperor, though? I'm not overconfident. Yeah, just, just don't allow me. Blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. Strike fast and strike hard. So you lose two with Shelly. Depopulate. This is fine. Sure. So we still maintain a lot of card advantages this way. We can go for the throat you. Let your blade do the talking. One life. Alright, let's just go for the throat. Might as well. We need like a trog. They only have 
one life, man. How do we get them down here? Obviously, Field of Ruin hurts the, the Restless Cottage, but then they get tapped out. I think we need, a, we need a push for something here. Let's go ahead and take our Dread Knight and just draw. Let's go for, like, a Trog. All right, so Bronco is not going to get it done, unfortunately. I think we're just going to go... Let's just do this again. Obviously, man, if they have a Sunfall, it's looking terrible. Field of Ruin... Can't even go for the throw on you. Man, not looking phenomenal here. Do I want to go for the Bristlebud Farmer? I think we're going to have to go for it, yeah. Obviously, they only have one card left in their hand. So, create two food tokens. This, um, the food tokens are not super relevant unless we get start swinging in here. So, the deuce. All right. Oh, two draws. Two, I mean, two draws and their draw step, so... That's Sunfall, man. I know we're, um... Usually farmers like the sun, right? Guards, to me. Alright. Vraska, Vraska, Vraska. Well, the nice part about the farmer... About old Farmer Brown... Whenever we attack, we sacrifice a food. Okay, that's good. I think we're just going to do this at good old sorcery speed. Let's go for the throat on you. Do I want to go in for the Restless Cottage? I think so. I know they have Field of Ruin, but at least takes away some of their, like, um... Yeah, let's try it out. So have two left over. Hopefully we can get this uh, attack trigger. So, the Bristle Blood Farmer. Alright. I think we're just going to swing into you, man. We might be able to go for the throw on our own creature to deny life gain, so... Restless Cottage, I don't think this matters at all. I don't think it could ever matter. Alright. And this Bristle Blood Farmer does have Trample, so yeah, we're definitely sacrificing something here. And now, I'm praying for a good Trog. And a Tenacious Underdog. I think... I think we're taking this, because we can always bring back the Underdog later from the Grave itself, so I think we'll actually just take the, the land. Whole Bricker Horror. Whoa. Okay. I mean, we have to go for it, right? Can they bounce this back? Let's go! The farmer, Farmer Brown for the win, baby! Ula, Ula, we, Ula, we, how we doing here? Yeah, we'll go and keep it. Looks good enough. Looks good enough to keep. <clears throat> Amanu faces Kakazan. Amanu faces Kakazan on the draw. Is there anything that just strikes fear into MTG Arena players like that? Mm, I don't think so. My knees are shaking. It could be the coffee. It could be the coffee, but I am. I am shaking. Cacophony scamp. All right, well, we do have a cut down. Not sure if I wanted to YOLO it yet. And a Swiss Spear, okay. Well, yeah, this is actually pretty good. Let's actually Swiss, let's actually cut down the Swiss Spear. And the Virtue is like the anti-Cacophony Scam card because it takes away the actual power. So let's just do this right now. Yeah, your power, your power is zero. Well, actually it's negative one, but yep. Fizzle out, my friend. That looks good, but it's still mono black, or mono red, so. Can that be comfortable? Never comfortable. Dress is pretty nice here. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, well, yeah, case is definitely going to be the, the thing we get rid of here. So, Ancestral Anger, we'll do this. You know what? We actually could just, like, go for the bat and then get rid of the Slick Shot Show Off. Is that better? Ancestral Anger. I can't imagine they go in for the... I'm going to do this. I am. Let's do this. And I'm going to get rid of the... Maybe the Anger? The Show Off? Let's get rid of the Show Off. So now, let's see if they can get the Picnic Rune up to 4 power. I'm kind of gambling, but they can't. So, okay. They're in kind of like a top deck mode, and that is bad. That's really bad. That is horrible, actually. So they don't have Tramp... Oh, they have Trample. Excuse me. Alright. 
only survived that once, so our gamble does not pay off whatsoever. We gotta go for the throw. Little life gain. This is looking rough. Nissa is the worst top deck in our whole deck. No. The whole deck. It's the worst one. Yep. All right. Take four. Um, we need something that's not a land or not not a Nissa. Pillage the bog is just just. I guess this is okay, right? So let's go for pillage the bog. See if we can find like a virtue. We do get to look at, yeah, this is pretty okay. Let's see if we can search for a removal. There's a Virtue Persistence, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's gonna have to be the Virtue by, by default. And you have Prowess, so I think you're a little more dangerous, my friend. And we go up to seven, I mean, it's not great. We're still gonna need a little bit of help. We're not out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination here. Another Code Breaker, take four, oh my god. You just never stop, do you? You know what, at a certain point, well... A lightning strike kills us. I think we're gonna have to just pray. You can have the, you can have the show off back. Case of the Crimson Pulse, eh? Okay. Well, I can destroy the enchantment if I swing in, but... Sure. Damn. Not looking good here. Chomp. Okay. I guess we're gonna hold up full control. Make make them think that we got something here. Obviously, uh I have go for the throat, my friend, don't you know? Yeah, I mean, if they have Monstrous Rage, they just win, right? Alright. Guess I don't need Monstrous Rage. Yeah, this is scary. Alright, so Gatrog. Uh, you sacrifice a creature that we said. I'll draw X and put X cards into our blah blah blah. But we just need land, so... We're definitely placing this down no matter what. We can kill the ca This doesn't matter anymore, because the, the case hasn't been solved. So let's just do this. It wow! Wow! Okie dokie! Froggy for the win! Jen, okay, hold on. How did you get other fawn? That is, that is not the same fawn I have. I don't... Mm, Alright, well, well, let's go ahead and keep this. I'm a little scared. I don't know what's up. I've seen that a few times. I have absolutely not even the slightest comprehension of how people do that. If you know, let me know in the comments, because I, I genuinely have no clue, so... Alright, I got a duress here. So, I'm gonna try and do this. I want to resolve Liliana. Really badly here. Oh, whoa, what is this? So, this is going to be that new, um... Simulacrum deck, okay. So, Braden, Braden actually hurts the Liliana pretty good. Um... I guess, you know what? Let's get rid of the Braided Net. Because the Braided Net... Can just shut off the Liliana every single turn, and that's really annoying. So, all right, no counter spell, looking good. Hello, Liliana. Happy to help. You won't be outsmarting me. I'm gonna keep the cut down for at least one more turn. I mean, turn four, we go for the Gitrog. I definitely want to resolve Gitrog here. So, oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, knew this was a waste of time. You knew this was a waste of time. Shh. All right, this is pretty good. Yeah, this is good. We're gonna set up for a nice little good trog, so. First, you get the bat, and then you get the frog. So this, this, blah, blah. I mean, this kills everything, right? Which one is the one that kills everything? Oh, they don't even have that one, right? Oh, this one is. All right. So, I don't know, maybe we just take you. I mean, they are kind of mana screwed, so. And we'll take the map. I'm the map, I'm the map. Virtual persistence, I think that could be good. Sure. Hopefully, oh man, they're pretty mana screwed here, but let's do it anyway. Sorry, Jen, I gotta do it to you. You, you deserve this for the wrong font on your name here. So, the Gatrog, the Ravenous Ride, big fan of alliteration. That is right. 
So I'm definitely not going to saddle you, but we're just going to swing in. Bang, bang, a big hasty frog into your face. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to uh, settle. Because you have to sacrifice it. We're not going to give you your stuff back. No way. Temporary lockdown. All right, that is unfortunate. But we still have our uh, Gatrog, so. Dress. Well, yeah, let's just put the heat on, baby. Russell's Cottage. I could saddle you. I mean, do I want to do that? I don't think so. I think we're pretty okay with just swinging in. Uh, yeah, pretty easy match here. I mean, it's not over yet, but bang, bang. It's, it's over, man. Yeah, Frog will do that to you. LV0. I don't think that's an O. That's a zero, my friend. So, hello. Let's go ahead and keep this. Alright, so I'm going to be Q, and we're going to drop the Death Cat Blade first. Don't know if we're going to get into some Mana Screw, which appears we don't, but that's okay. I'd rather be safe than sorry. You know what? Blue. I don't know what we're facing. Let's go in for the Deep Cavern Bat. I know everyone's sick of the bat, but it's, it's so good to play on curves sometimes, so... Oh, this is going to be... Let's go in for... I think we'll just go for you, I suppose, so... Rakdos joins up. That's kind of weird, considering I don't see black or red. Am I nuts? Am I, am I literally insane here? Okay, Rakdos joins up is definitely, uh, definitely a weird one. Well, we got our own join up card, so... At this point, I think we're just gonna go for Duress. No more lies is kind of annoying. So is Fading Hope, though. You can have the Faithful Mending, whatever. I guess it's just no more lies, I guess. And at this point, I'm just gonna try and put some damage on the board. Sure. Yeah, I'd rather just put some more damage on the board. I know this could get a little awkward. If Roscoe joins up, it's pretty cool. For, like, the mid-range battle, but this is a little shaky. Bronco. I think we'll just swing in. See if they want to use Fading Oak on my back end, which would suck. Yeah, let's go for the Bronco here, though. Not sure if I want to saddle. I'm a big fan of this Caustic Bronco, though. Alright, so they go for Faithful Mending. I'm assuming they're going to Fading Hope this, because Abuelo... We can't prevent it anyway, so it's not like um, it changes what we do. Alright. Other Worldly Gaze. How do they activate this, though? I guess it is a permanent, so Squirming Emergence? There's no green, so, like, I don't... Am I crazy? Finding of the Third Path, alright. Another gaze, okay. Strange deck here. There's another one. Like, what is it? Oh, Hulking Metamorph. I guess I'll just have to wait for them to use this. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen Hulking Metamorph in a long time, so. Got another duress. Let's swing in first. So the Bronco, I think we're, I think we, man, with Fading Hope, I don't think we can really afford to, to saddle. Don't think we can afford to saddle, unfortunately. So let's just swing in and then just draw. I'm going to lose life here, but whatever. Not on a land, though. Uh, yeah, just Duress, I guess. Kind of not great. I mean, uh, hopefully they have two here. They do. If Boilo's Awakening, I guess we'll just get rid of you. If they Fading Hope you, it's whatever. And Brusco joins up. All right. So this Death Touch counter stuff is not really that relevant. There's the Fading Hope on Deep Cavern Bat, and we get their, their Abuelo back. <clears throat> All right, so, like, what is the... What's, like, what's their plan here? I mean, they obviously... Rakdos joins up. Okay, so here's what, what their plan is. What What's going on here? Okay. Oh, that is cool. So it's just... Yeah, it's just it's just infinite, right? Okay, so Hulking Metamorph, where this enters the battlefield, create a copy, blah, blah. And then... Okay. I see... I see what you're doing here. Well, I think uh, we'll let them finish it. I was just saying, I'll, I'll just concede if they don't let this finish it out. But, oh, okay. I see now. I see now. 
Morgan, baby. Hello, Morgan. All right, Hagen Doss. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna go pay the one. I want to see what you're playing here, old Morgan. Scary number. Temporary lockdown. No more lies. Ooh. Okay. I think. Let's go and get rid of your no more lies here. If we resolve Liliana, Liliana is so good versus Kincho. So, I think that's gonna be the move here. Let's get our little tenacious underdog down. See if we can do something here. I know uh, the lockdown does suck, but. Sucks for us. I want to keep this mire in case we got to dig into our deck for something cute. There's our old Farmer Brown. Swing on in. Hopefully I don't have another counter spell because I'm going for it, man. Liliana of the Veil. We're paying. Fingers crossed. Two mystery cards here. Hopefully no more lies. All right, we're good to go. Lily, do your thing. No more distractions. Let's make this quick. Let's make this quick. So they can't go for Soul Partition, but at least we still get to persistently annoy them. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. March Purchase. This is what I like about Liliana, though. Like, Liliana... It's... Like, people... I don't know. People just don't run Liliana anymore. I have no idea why. But discarding yourself, if in a best of one shell, you always have dead cards anyway. So, again, I don't really this mind. This isn't how things were supposed to go. I know it's not how things were supposed to go, Lily. It's okay. Don't worry. There are further plans. Lockdown on the underdog. Okay, we still got this bristle blood farmer, so. Alright, Farmer Brown, do your thing. <laughs> I mean, I kinda like this thing. It's not even like too sexy, but it just kind of feel it feels right in this build. I wanna get you down before we have to start discarding ourselves again. Old Farmer Brown, baby. See, they got no, no answer. That feels good. Ooh, Nissa. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, let's see if we can at least make use of this. They have Emperor. Obviously, I cry, but I still want to get this attack trigger off. This Liliana is uh, maybe, maybe the haters were right. Maybe Liliana is not very good for this reason. So, we're still gonna maintain a little bit of advantage no matter what here, though. All right, what we got here? Virtue. That is an um permanent. So, wow. Okay. Down to 12 you go. So, yeah, we're going to do this, and I'm going to try to resolve my Lily. There's a decent chance they just have um, counter spell anyway. No. Okay. Those who get in my way tend, tend to, to regret, regret it. it. Deluge. Okay. Uh, no, no Restless Cottage, so we're not going to be able to get rid of that in the graveyard, which is a little concerning. But at least this is what I like so much about Lily in this kind of deck here. I'm tired of your secrets. Because you have to take care of a Planeswalker and a creature now, which is pretty nice. Alternatively, we could just go in for Nyssa. But let's let's let them deal with this before we slam Nyssa down. We got two threats here. Jace. Okay. Emotions are distractions. Focus this on the fox. Still down to a 2-5. I mean, that's still not Remote nothing. Subdued. It's not nothing. Here's the thing. Ooh, I don't know. Should we actually swing on the Jace at all? I don't I, I don't think so. We're definitely slamming Nissa down. I'm paying the Phyrexian life. Do not care about that one iota. Yeah, I think we're still gonna swing on the face. I think we're gonna try and race you, JC boy. What we got here? Frosca? Ooh, a Cavern Bat. Well... We're definitely going for Nyssa, so... I think it's gonna have to be the Bat. Maybe we can take away their best thing. Because I think we're gonna ditch you. Because we have to go for Nyssa here. Yeah, let's do this. We're paying it, baby. Hello, Nyssa! Into the flesh of the multiverse, and we're gonna get rid of this virtue. Drop it. Drop it. Okay, this feels pretty good. Ooh, another another deluge. Don't really love that. So only two cards left in their hand. Jace obviously is a ticking time bomb. Ooh, they're drawing, so that makes me feel a little good. Well, they actually don't even have enough for Sunfall. They only have one, they only have one white source. Let's go. 
Azu, Azu, hello, hello. So only black cards in our hand. Don't really, yeah, we'll keep it. It's good enough. Definitely good enough. And that was a mulligan. Let's go ahead and give our opponent the friendly mulligan. Hello, everybody needs a friend. We need to take a mulligan because this thing sucks. So is that a double mulligan? Is that a double mulligan? Oh my, all right, well. So this Bronco, man, this thing is, man, I don't know. I'm really liking how this thing's working out, man. Um, it took me like 30,000 times to kind of read it to make sure it does what it does, but nevertheless, let's just go ahead and set up our little tiny bones here. Good old tiny bones. Let's see what we're playing against. Swiss Spear? Oh, goodness. I, I am gonna... Well... Bronco? Yeah, let's just block. This is fine. This is fine. Nissa. So that is our... Like, we don't actually... We're actually relatively low to the ground. I do like this. This card's so good, man. I'm telling you. All right. Let's go ahead and swing in. So we don't get to saddle it. So we are going to lose life when we take the draw here. But we got enough life gain. I don't think I'm really that worried about it. Let's do it, baby. All right. Whatever we draw. Restless Cottage, baby. Probably the best thing that we could actually snag into, realistically speaking. Don't take any damage. Drop our land. Oh, things are looking good. Things are looking good. See, this is Boros. I've seen a lot of um, Slick Shot and the Virtuoso plot stuff. Demonic Ruckus. Okay, that seems to be what's going on here. Another, um... You know what? I think we're going to go in for Shelly, and then we're just going to mount the Shelly. You have to be a little careful, though, because this deck can get out of hand very quickly. So you hear the shriek of Shelly. Let's go for the Bronco. Saddle up, baby. Let's saddle up our Bronco. And now we don't have to take uh, the damage here, which is very, very nice. So we're going to draw a card, and now you lose the one life. The rest, a little underwhelming, but I think we're, um, again, I know that we live ourselves a little susceptible. No, we don't. No, we don't. Kiwi. Hello, Kiwi. All right, this is a little, I'm going to keep this, but this is a little awkward of a hand. Hopefully, we're facing aggro so we can make use of these cut downs. So otherwise, looking a little rough, but aggro is pretty much everywhere. So there we go. Case in point. Duress. All right. I think um, we might be on our backs here. So, do I want to start paying life? Is the question. I, I think so. I mean, if they're playing against Boros, I think we're better off doing this. Yeah, let's just go ahead and hold up the cut down. I guess we're gonna cut down the scrub anyway. But it is tempting holding up the the abandoned mire to dig for stuff later. But lull them into a false sense of security. They're not even going to swing. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and cut down Mr. Strelf. Hopefully, they don't have, like, a, like a Lauren's Path or something like that. All right, looking good, looking good. I think at this point, we're definitely going to want to go 1-2 here, so we are going to pay for the laning ways, so. Let's see what you got. Ooh, okay, Angel Fire Ignition. These are a little dangerous. These can just be played from the... Ooh, flashback, too. That's actually pretty gross. Let's take away the... Let's take away the anger. I know it seems a little weird, but I want to really force them to be... I want to pigeonhole them into the only thing they can do is go for this angel fire ignition, and then we cut down. Okay. Feels pretty good. Oh, well, I guess that was pretty good. Trickster, hello Trickster. All right, so we got the rest. I got the muscle dread knights. I had no green. And we'll be okay. I guess we'll just kind of go do some de facto mono black stuff for now. That was a mulligan. Let's go ahead and give Trickster a friendly mulligan. Hello, everybody needs a friend. We need to get a mulligan. All right, Trickster, what you got for me here? Number seventy-seven, huh? All right, let's see if you got any tricks up your sleeve. I guess we'll uh, be. A little I'm still a big believer of duress. I think both duress and Liliana. Not really, you don't really see it a whole lot anymore, but I guess we'll we'll kind of make use of this, so. Demonic Ruckus, Kamanu, or a Lightning Strike? Like, which one is the worst one here? I think it's got to be a Kamanu, right? I think it's Kamanu. Putting that down um, permanently gets rid of our dr Yeah, I think we'll do that. Swift Spear, not great, but not awful. There's our green spell, we're good, we're good. Or green land, not a spell. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Just go for cut down. 
don't there's no world where they top deck into uh, two different things here, so this is fine. Two little one drops. Not drops, good lord. You know what I'm saying. Two prowess triggers, so we're gonna be able to just cut down no matter what. Unless they Monstrous Rage it. Yeah, we're, we're kind of being a little YOLO-ish here. Bristle Blood Farmer. I really like this card a lot. But I do like Liliana, so right now it's actually a little bit awkward. I am going to do something a little... Man, do I want to go for Liliana and start discarding? I like all my cards here. Let's actually just do this. It seems a little weird. Come to think of it, that cutdown was actually really risky. Like, if they did have Monstrous Rage, that would be really bad. But... Sometimes you gotta risk it to get the biscuit, I suppose. More plotting, all right. Pillage the bog. Do I want to use the? No. Do I want to use this just for a land? I mean, it is tempting. <laughs> oh man, this is a little scary to swing in. Cause I mean, I think we're still gonna do it, but not too comfortable here. This is yeah, that's absolutely fine with me. Until the end of our next turn, we can play this. So, I mean... Do I want to do this for a land? There's no way we just don't sneak a land in here. I think we're going to, man. I could also plot it, but I kind of want it right now. Let's do this for a land. Alright, so only black sources here. That's fine. Do we want... Does this matter? Let's do this. Do this. Dread Knight. Alright, so that was... A, again, we're playing... A little risky here. A little. I want to see borderline careless versus mono red, but only two red, no creatures. I think we're sitting pretty okay here. Cottage. So the bristle bud farmer. This card's actually really really fun, man. Uh, it is a one draw. Or a, I only have one in my whole deck, but it is really fun. I think we're just gonna go Shelly. Let's not be too cute here. Let's do Shelly. Get some um, get some life gain going on our Shelly. Oh, and you can see they're just kind of freaking out here. So, all right. You hear the shriek of Shelly. Nothing too new here. Shelly is good. Oh, here's the, okay, here's the show off. We can get rid of the show off next turn, but right now we're going to take a beating, huh? All right. Oh, God. 4-3, Menace Trample. Let's see what else you got here. Another Demonic Ruckus. Okay. Down to eight we go. At least we gain a little bit of life here. Go for the throat. Yeah, this is actually pretty decent. We just go for Liliana and we have a go for the throat. So, obviously, we would like to do some other stuff with the Vraska joins up and stuff like that. But we don't have the kind of time here. When I win, Good game. Telling me. I need a max win. Hello. Let's go ahead and keep this. A little land heavy on the green. But that's okay. We'll find our green stuff. In due time, of course. Hey, get back to your stable, horsey. Get back. Who let you out? That's right. Get back. Get back. All right. We're, 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 we're not even going to waste time. We're going to go for the Death Cap Glade. I don't want to pay for my black. No way. No way. All right. Let's see what we got. Howdy. Well, I don't have any of the cool howdy stuff, but I do have you. The classic Tamio. I can't get rid of the Tamio. Hello. It's just so classic. I feel like it's part of my brain at this point. Lunark Veteran. Do I want to kill you? Not really. You just come back with Disturb. You know what? I don't think life gain is going to matter that much. So let's actually just do this. I think I'd rather just keep the go for the throat. We'll just, we'll just ping you off here. Because I am going to go for Liliana on curve. Feels pretty decent. People don't like Liliana. I still think she's good. You won't be outsmarting me. You will not be outsmarting me. Alright, so they do have flashback stuff. I don't know what is Orzov midrange or something. Sometimes Lily obviously could be quite problematic with our own hand, but Oh, okay. No problem. Deep cavern bat, well we can get rid of the bat. Force you to sacrifice, that's no problem. Get rid of the Shelly, but it's okay. Blooming Marsh actually is kind of yucky. So, let's just have you... Man, I could just start ripping their hand apart, but I think just dropping Shelly's pretty good. There's no guarantee that they can get rid of my own Shelly. Haven't you ever heard of personal space? See, if they do have a go for the throat themselves, obviously this doesn't... This play is a little less stellar. But we're committed to the Shelly. Shelly wins games. 
That's what we're here for, baby. This blue marsh is going to be an easy peasy get rid of. All right, so at this point, let's see if we can play whatever we have, which honestly, this is pretty gross. I did not want to see this. This makes our turn a little awkward. So do I want to plus Lily? If I plus Lily, I think we just can't get the land down. I think it's fine. We can live with that. Don't overthink things. And we just keep the go for the throw. This is fine though. Like we're not in any trouble. And the opponent seems to be down on land, so that's good. So they can just trade with Liliana all day. One, yeah, we plus one, the bat swing, like whatever. It's fine. We can actually do something super sneaky. We could go for the throat on the bat now, and then just get our other go for the throat. Perhaps a slight misplay there, because if we do that now, the phantom gives them plus one life. Eh, I think it's pretty negligible, but it's fine. I think we're just gonna let this go. That's, that's just, I don't think there's really any need to panic here. You picked a fight with the wrong necromancer. Duress. I think we might as well duress here. A little risky considering that um, Liliana is a guaranteed card, but we get to pick it, but it's a non-creature, so... A little, a little risky here. Gumdrop poisoner, okay. Oops and daisies so now what do we do? Do we plus one? I don't think so. I don't think so. We still have to go for the throat. Yeah, this is tremendously awkward. But that, again, we, we committed to Liliana. Sometimes Liliana is awkward. You gotta, you love it. Sometimes it's optimal and sexy. Sometimes it's not. Love it or leave it. So the plan is definitely going to be to protect Liliana. Once we can clear our own hand, then those plus ones are just so devastating. So Amalia, before we resolve you, let's go ahead and kill the Deep Cavern Bat. Yeah, I don't want Amalia to explore, so. Hopefully we can make use of whatever we draw here. Wrong day to cross me. Choose the wrong day to cross me, and we do. So now, now here's where we actually start profiting. Uh, go for the throat on you. Just pay the three life. That's absolutely fine. Take action. Gain life, whatever. Pick you off. Yeah, I think we're going to do this, because now we have to make use of what's in our hand here so that we can plus Lily. I'm tired of your secrets. I'm tired of your secrets too. What do you got here? What's the secret card? And they get rid of the Axelzots. That's phenomenal. Down to 10. All right. No more hand. Lily. Still alive. Shelly, still alive. But now we're going to make a decision. It'll all depend on what we top deck here. If we want a plus one or if we want to go for minus two. Go for the Poisoner. Okay. It's not that bad. And a Dread Knight. Okay. Well, the Dread Knight... At least just do this first. Because we might tap deck into a land. We do not. I think we're just going to cut you down, my friend. Yeah, let's not even worry about the Dread Knight. Let's just cut you down. Again, you want to have no hand so that this plus one is devastating to the opponent. Drop it. Drop it. And they get rid of Virtue. Pretty nice. Swing in. We don't get to drop the Dread Knight, but that's fine. Down to two. Still have a food token here, but we're looking pretty good. Voice. Well, I mean... Yeah, this is game over. Yeah, we're gonna give him a good game, because Liliana's just gonna be able to take away the Voice of the Blessed. Well, actually, you know what? I guess it's technically not. They can, they can have a, like, a go for the throat or something. So, yeah, that's it. Good game. <laughs>